Hello, good day, and welcome back. So, first thing first, uh, you may hear some noise in the background, and this may not sound that great. I'm actually traveling, and I'm in a hotel recording this from a hotel room, and so everything is kind of uh, just harder to do. Uh, not only is my time limited because I'm actually traveling for work, but also, you know, the bandwidth and all this other stuff, and having a nice, quiet place to work. But anyway, I still wanted to get something out and keep us moving forward. So what I decided to do, um, I actually had planned this though, that we could revisit our to-do application and make some enhancements to it. And so it just so happened that this actually is going to be a nice short video to be able to do um, while I'm traveling. So let's add a few things to our to-do application. Let's see what we can add. So um, what we can do is we can add a cancel button on our edit and new form. So that if you go to add something or edit something, you can change your mind just by clicking cancel. That's more convenient than trying to find it, the home button. And um, that's more consistent with more well-designed applications. Um, to have a cancel button on like the forms, edit a new form. And we want to be able to have delete confirmations. And not only that, we want to make it so easy to delete. So we can actually move the delete. So... Let's go take a look and play with um, this updated application and then look and see what code changes were required. All right, so let's look at the in answer to the application. So it doesn't look like anything new here on the front page, but uh, let's see. So we do add, and so here's this cancel button. You can click cancel. Um, let's try that again. Add something. And I'm do add. Again, no first change, second change, you know, so that was the first of the cancel button. Second change is remove the delete from here. Don't want to make it too easy for you to delete in things without being able to look at the details. Um, plus, it could be accidental, but which we could add a conform here. But yeah. Um, so now you go here, you can see that you have the delete here. Of course, cancel here, take you back. Um, making some changes. Cancel it. Doesn't actually make the change. Now when you click delete, you get this confirmation that says, do you really want to delete? And of course, you can cancel it. You stay here. Or you can say, okay, it removes and take it back. So that's the new change, and it doesn't seem like a whole lot. But it's um, pretty cool, um, because if you look at how, um, you know, like we have the delete button separated, it floats to the right over there to the edge of the form. And this is kind of a behavior user expect. If they come to an edit form, a new form, they want to be able to possibly cancel and go back. Or... You want when they click delete to get that confirmation. Okay, you want to make make it so easy for them to destroy their thing, um, their task. They will be very upset, and this is like appropriate for you to be able to delete it. You can see the details of the task if there's any, and then you can delete it from here. So do, how do we do this? Well, the first thing to do is with the can is the cancel. That's easy to add. Um, just add the cancel button here and we call the cancel task and we'll look at that so we added to the edit form because the edit form is being used for both new and delete and so therefore it's going to show up on both and here is the um, add task controller to cancel button this goes back to the slash thing and to root you know the, uh, listing same thing for the edit form the next thing we want to do is delete and so here's the delete button and it's we want it to be hidden if it's a new form um, other than if it's a new if it's not new then it's shown and to make sure it floats to the right we added this class class um, buttons right and the other set of buttons we want them to be on the left and so for the style sheet we just added these two classes very simple um, for the listing we we'll remove the delete action from here link and in the code all we did was we say well since the edit button now is going to pass in remove task call this remove task method and pass the task id well what we're going to do is we're going to look up that task if we find it if we don't find it go back to the listing if we find it we're going to prepare this message that says confirm do you want to delete task with this id now since we're in the same form, really, right here, we really don't have to show the, 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 in the confirmation mission the, sub, the title because it's right there. But I just wanted to show you it so you can do things like that. And so if it's okay, then we continue to remove the task and then go back to the listing. 
if the user say cancel, this would be for OK would be false here. So if OK is false, this doesn't get executed, which would remove the task. So pretty straightforward and just uh, again some simple things that make our application look much much better and operates much better. And so anyway, that's all there is. Uh, look at the code again. Post questions. Um, Take care, and I just wanted to do a little video for you guys while I'm still traveling. Sorry about the background noise or any of that stuff. Um, spread the word. See you. Subscribe. Bye.